Hello everybody, my name is Siobhan and I'm the physiotherapist here in the Day Hospital in Tala University Hospital. I'm really excited to have gotten this chance to make this video for you. I know how difficult it is to stay motivated, to keep fit and strong while we're all staying at home. And for this reason, we're bringing the main motivator to you to help you to work on your Day Hospital program. So here's Jerry with some of the most important exercises to keep you strong and steady and fit so that you can get out and get moving when all the doors are open again. And don't forget, every day, get up, get dressed and get moving. Here's my top tips before we start. Try to get up and walk around regularly throughout the day to stay strong and avoid getting stiff. That's so important. Take regular breaks if you need them and drink lots of water. We will do 10 reps of each of the strength exercises. If you can, pause the video and try to do three sets of each before moving on to the next exercise. If you have ankle weights, they are so important guys, please buy them. Try using them for strength exercises. This will help build lots of muscle. Hello ladies and gentlemen, we're about to start our exercise program now. But before we do, we're gonna do some warm up exercises. So you can pick a chair for this, preferably one with handles on so you're nice and safe. The first exercise we're going to do to warm us, stick the right leg out at just the ankle if you can, going to the right 10 times. So count with me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Right leg down and lift the left leg and do the opposite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These are just to warm you up. Next thing, you can stand up next and twist your hips from right to left ten times. One, two, keep your chest and head up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten and the, the opposite way now from left to right one two don't forget chest and head up three four five six seven eight nine and ten we're about to start just before we begin our strength and balance exercise program just do a little bit of walking up and down your hall maybe <clears throat> Uh, the weather is good up in, the, in your backyard just for a minute or two again just to warm up so we're going to start with our thigh muscle first we need to keep that strong to be able to stand and walk are we ready to start right leg one and down right leg up to two right knee again up to three and down right knee up to four right knee up to five right knee up to six right knee up to seven right knee up to eight right knee up to nine and right knee up to ten so you can start with ten reps take a breather for maybe a minute or so again we need to do another ten so we start again on the left leg left knee up to one left knee up to two left knee up to three left knee up to four left knee up to five left knee up to six left knee up to seven left knee up to eight left knee up to nine and left knee up to ten next exercise we're going to perform is for the thigh muscles we want to build lots of spongy muscle on them hips and keep them strong we want to minimize your risk of falling so let's perform on the right leg bringing the right leg out to the side and in. Controlling, out to the side and in for two, out for three and in, and again out for four and in. Out for five and in, and again out for six and in. Out for seven and in. Just control the leg again. Out for eight and in slowly, out for nine and in, and out for 10. Usually we find 10 is not enough. You'd want to go again, 
15, 20, 25, if you go to 30, please do it. We want to get them hips really strong and again minimize your risk of falling. We go now on the left leg, left leg out to the side, again controlling it and in and out to two and in and again out to three and in and again out to four and in, five and in, six and in and again out to seven and in, number eight and in. Number nine and in, and again out to 10 and again. And again, please try to do more. 10 we find is not enough, again, building that spongy muscle. Go to 15, 20, and up to 30 again. And you all know this exercise again. We're going to do our squats. Again, working on your quad muscle again. Let's bend the knees together. And imagine sticking the backside out if you can down to number one and straightening up and bending the knees. Remember, stick the bum out if you can and down and up and again, bending the bum, down and up, sticking the backside out and up and again, down to four and up, down to five and up and again, down to six and up and again, down to seven and up and again, down to eight and up, number nine, and again, the last one, number 10, sticking the backside out if you can, down and straightening up. That's 10, again, go for 15, 20, and 25. We have lots of time in our hands now while you're being cocooned, ladies and gentlemen. Please, please try and do this program. Next exercise, you all know this one as well, going up on our toes as high as we can. Again, try not push through the bar, let the legs do the work if you can, and down, up on the toes and down to two, up on the toes to three and down, light on the bar, up to four and down, and up to five and down. And again, up to six and down, up to seven and down, up to eight and down, up to nine and down, last one, up to 10. And again, just to remind you, Please try and build up to 25 to 30 reps. Ladies and gentlemen, of all the exercises, the one I would find most important, if, you, if you're going to do anything, this is the exercise to do. The sit to stand exercise. I'm going to bring a chair in. Again, make sure the chair is comfortable. It's got arms on it. You sit back into the chair with your two arms resting Again, bring your backside forward, lean forward, nose over knees, and stand up with both hands. Sit back into the chair. Again, bring your body forward, backside, nose forward over the knees, and again, push up to number two. Sit back down in the chair again, come forward again, nose over knees, push up again to number three. Sit back in the chair again, Come forward, nose forward again, and again up to number four. Sit back into the chair. Again, bring your backside forward, nose over knees. Push up again to number five. We sit back down in the chair. Again, if you're finding that exercise too easy, you can put one hand either on your right or your left knee. This one, I put my right hand on my knee and push up with your left hand using one arm only, if you have the energy. And let's go, pushing up to number six, back into the chair. Come forward again, left hand, and push up again to number six. So back in the chair, backside forward, nose over knees, and again up to number seven. We sit back in the chair again. Again, left hand, forward again, nose and stand up again and sit back in the chair. Again, if you're really feeling energetic, you can bring the left hand onto the knee and push off both knees. Give it a go, come forward. You really want to come forward, nose over the knees and stand up, number nine. And again, keep your hands on your knees, get the backside well into the chair. Bring the backside forward, hands on the knees, and again, push up off your knees. Just to remind you also, as, we, as I said before to you guys, please, while you're boiling an egg, boiling a kettle, it takes three minutes for a kettle, three minutes for an egg, you'd have all of them exercise covered in that short time span. 
Okay, the next exercise we're going to do then is our balance exercise. Again, at your countertop, heavy table or a heavy chair. Make sure it's heavy. So we push one foot in front of the other, hands on the bar. When we're balanced, take one hand off the bar, keeping your balance, and we go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Put the hand back up. Excellent. When we're free balance again, two hands are back up on the chair again. Take the opposite hand off, and again for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands up again on the bar, and you're really feeling confident, and it's too easy. Lift both hands off, just be careful. You can keep a chair behind you to feel safe. And we go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hands back on, bring the leg back to the opposite leg and stand safely. Again, we walk on our balance, again, we stay on our balance exercises. Again, lifting the right leg, holding it up, make sure you're balanced. One hand off. Again, counting down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Leg down, hand back on. Again, keep your both hands on, be safe. Lift the left leg. Keep your balance, hand off, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Leg down, hands back on. Hi everyone, I'm also Siobhan and I'm one of the dietitians here in Tally University Hospital. As well as following our Mr Motivator Jerry and keeping active, it's also really important to think about what you're eating at the moment in terms of your muscles. Protein is the key building block for your muscles and it's really important that you have enough of it and spread it out between your three main meals. Protein generally comes from meat, fish, eggs, dairy, which would be cheese, yogurts and milk. So it's important to include some of these at every meal time. As well as protein, vitamin D is really important for our bones, especially when we're undertaking exercise. We might not be getting enough of it at the moment because we're not going outdoors as much. So if you have easy access to a supplement that contains vitamin D, it might be a good idea to take it now. Remember, eat well, stay active, but stay indoors.